Bienvenue to I'm Joseph De Carroll. And I'm Tasha Orlandi. Welcome to our last show of 2013. Today on the show, we'll be telling you which game system is better. We have a new movie review with Duncan and a sneak preview of upcoming segments. But first, here's Joshua's story on the recent Christmas concert. On November 28th, the Christmas concert was hosted at TD. We had wonderful performances from the praise band, the jazz band, the concert band, the choir, and solos. It was really great. Why don't we see some highlights? Um, tonight, we want you to sit back. We want you to relax. Overall, I think the Christmas concert was great. My friends, my family, my grandparents, everyone I talked to, they all enjoyed it and had a great time. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next year. Tasha, do you ever play any video games? No, but I know my three younger brothers play Xbox. Well, in our next story, Brett has been doing some investigating on the PlayStation and Xbox. The pros to the Xbox One is that it's an entertainment console rather than just a gaming console. It has amazing voice control due to the Kinect, and it is very similar to Windows 8 format-wise. It does have an edge over the PS4 with its exclusive games like the Forza series, Killer Instinct, and the Halo series, and it is also compatible with Smart Glass. The cons are that it has a big bulky exterior, slightly less power, and you have to pay for online gaming. The Kinect feature is always on, and you can't increase storage space. At a price of $500, it is more expensive. The pros to the PS4 is that it is more powerful and has much better graphics than any other console. Great exclusive games like the infamous series Uncharted, Killzone, Metal Gear Solid, Knack, and Drive Club. $100 cheaper, a slimmer exterior, it is quiet, and it has a touchscreen controller. The cons are that it has nothing like the Kinect. It does not connect to your cable box, and there's no voice recognition. It cannot play any earlier games. PS4, Xbox One. PS4, Xbox One. I'd probably go PS4. Uh, I said PS4. Well, I'm obviously getting the better one, so Xbox. It's unlike the Xbox One, it'll be directed towards everyone, not just adults. Xbox One. Xbox One. Uh, neither. PS4. <laughs> I don't have any of them. PS4 all the way. After looking at the pros and cons of both systems, I've determined that the PlayStation 4 is the better system because it is solely a gaming console. But if you want a true gaming experience, you have to go with the PC. From The Pulse, I'm Brett McFarlane. We have a lot of new things coming up, so here's a sneak peek. They can get it away, but they cannot.
the man tracker is not far behind the prey. Prey ran into the bush and successfully escaped the man tracker. Oh, there's two deaths. The prey has made a rookie mistake. But so has the man tracker. Hi, I'm Michaela, and I'm Lindsay, and we're from eBlock. We're going to talk about what we do with the compost. So, what do you think the compost team does? They take the disgusting, chewed up food that people throw out and make it into something useful. It's something about food. Uh, I'm pretty sure they put it in the ground for like soil. Make special kinds of dirt. I think eBlock uh, composts <laughs> bananas and apples and stuff. Judging from the word, post probably means some kind of stick or elongated object, and it comes from e-block. That's why e-block does compost. Isn't it like food for worms or something? <laughs> so what does the compost team actually do? Collect the compost from classrooms. We sort through it and weigh it, cut it up into small pieces after that. And then mix it with our hands. So tell us a little bit more about the worms and where the compost goes. Okay, so they're California red wiggler worms. We make sure they have a high nutrient diet. So when they digest the food, the uh, output is really good for the soil and it's like a really good fertilizer. So what can't go in the worm bucket? Stuff like oranges that are acidic and can't break down when the worms try and eat them. Also bread and meat can't go in. Until next time, evil out! Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you filming right now? Yeah. <laughs> I know you're not. To you guys on what we think, what you th Until next, next time. Until. <laughs> Until. I must have the wrong house. Sister. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. They waited up all night for you, you know. It's a long way from West Africa. Oh, real coffee. Here. I brought you something from far away. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're my present this year. The best part of waking up is Mark's Coffee Club. Hey, sir, you're under arrest. What, what is Christmas, man? We'll let you off the hook this time. What time? That's it. Hi, we're the Hall Cops, and we've got a holiday song for you today. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, the fairies to the world, what's the
can't wait to Christmas. Let's see the newest person on the street segment on what people are doing for Christmas. Does your family have any special Christmas tradition? I guess, sort of, yeah. Um, like what? Um, every Christmas Eve, we have to watch the Christmas Carol, the original version. Fish. We eat fish. Just get together, just our small family, and eat a lot. Getting together with family and bonding. Can you uh, play us a Christmas song? No. Please? I don't know any. How do you celebrate the true meaning of Christmas? By playing Christmas songs. What's your favorite part about Christmas? Food. Going down to see my family in the States. We go to church and we open presents and hang out with the family. We, we put a tree up. I don't know if anyone else does that. Get creative, collaborate with friends, and most of all, have fun. Here are some examples that might show you what we have in mind. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. And remember, pulse out! No! Remember, we don't want to offend anyone, so make sure your vines are politically correct and culturally sensitive. So no swearing, racial slurs, or anything that would be considered offensive. Remember to send your vines by December 31st. After this, you'll see how we send Duncan to his newest favorite movie. Alright guys, thanks for coming over. Until next time, Paul's out. out. Hey guys, I'm back once again, and today I'm going to review the 2011 movie Twilight Breaking Dawn. You see, as far as I know, this is the final Twilight movie. You see, a strange thing was, going into this film, I thought I was going to hate it. But oddly enough, I found myself thoroughly enjoying this movie. Hey, hey, is, it, is this thing on? Hey. Listen guys, it's me, Duncan. Everything you just heard was a lie. I don't have a choice in this. They're forcing me to review this movie. Now, here's the true review for this movie. I hate this movie. The writing, I've seen some pretty horrible plots in my life. This one is the worst. You see, the plot to this goes like this. Edward and Bella, the two of them get married. And Bella promises Edward that she will become a vampire and that made no sense to me, but whatever, just go with it. On their honeymoon, they find out that Bella is pregnant. Now, there's a big problem with this. Um, well, the baby she's going to have is going to be half human and half vampire. So, of course, the werewolves and the vampires, they don't want a half human, half vampire. So the werewolves decide they're going to kill it. Now, as for the acting, well, the three main characters in this movie were Edward, Bella and Jacob. And I know there was the big argument over Team Edward, Team Jacob, but I don't really care. Team Jacob! Team Edward! Out, both of you! But seriously, the acting, those are the main three stars, and the acting was horrible! Just when they're talking, there are so many big holes in between each word they say, you could drive a transport truck through them. Okay, the special effects. Well, a lot of this film is using CG and all that, like a lot of films today. And that was the one thing I actually found even remotely good about this movie, is that the CG was at least halfway decent. But that wasn't enough to save this movie. I cannot recommend this film. I know people love the Twilight films. I don't see why. I don't see who would like this or any of the ones that came before it. Ultimately, 
it was just torture to get through this film. And the Pauls, they were forcing me to review this. What choice did I have? Hang on. Uh-oh. I, I think they're coming. They must be on to me. Uh-oh. Listen, you guys, I gotta go. Until next time, this is Duncan for the Pauls saying, I'll see you guys around. Now we'll have our helpful segment called Ask Ben for Ben's Words of Wisdom. By the way, last week we had our photo contest and the winner was Joseph Kim. You'll get your prize soon. Soon, let's, we'll go to Brittany for calendar of events. Hey Ben, Christmas break is coming up and I was planning on going somewhere tropical on a vacation. Anywhere you could suggest? Good question. I would say around 10 or 11, depending on how hungry you are. At the very most 15, but just make sure that you add the cinnamon last. Um, thanks? On Friday, December 20th, we have our last day of classes before Christmas break. On December 21st to January 5th, we have our Christmas break. Woohoo! On January 6th, it's back to school. On January 9th, it's focus day for period two. And final day of classes for semester one is January 17th. Thanks for watching. Bon Natale. And have a happy new year.